guys, Doug here, and I have some sad news. The Gravely is going away. Yeah, I, I decided to not go along with this idea. I could do the work, I'm just too lazy to, I guess. And uh, I have some other plans for the frame that I could do, but for right now, what I'm going to be working on is the mini bike here. <clears throat> and what my basic plans for this are is to take the engine out of here, the 420 cc predator that i removed the governor out of and put it in here and then while i put it in here i will be slightly extending the frame a little bit to mount some pillow blocks on and i will be using a piece of shaft not maybe not specifically this one i think it's a little too short but i'll be running that through and using the tires off the gravely originally when it still had the transaxle that was in it, in it. Um, they have a one inch shaft. They're pretty much the same size, they're a little bit wider than these, so I'll be putting those on here. And I have a new sprocket uh, to put on the back. It's still the same uh, 40 chain, which I have a, another torque converter for in there. I also have a fake gas tank for the mini bike. And I will be putting that on here. So this should be interesting. So first things first, we got to take the engine out and strip the rear end and pretty much strip the entire thing. The seat's going to come off and uh, make room so that I can get in and clean up the frame and stuff so I can start welding to it. So the uh, mini bike frame, as you can see, is pretty well stripped down. I didn't do anything on the front because I'm not worried about that right now. Um, but I got the rear tire off, the engine's off, I took the throttle off and it's pretty much ready just to be hacked up a little bit and uh, get ready for this three wheel conversion now what the basic plan was was to take these these actually came off the gravely they were originally welded underneath it like so so that I could weld it onto the front axle like that to make it solid just so I could get to Haspen last year and that ended up not happening so uh, one of these snapped off already so it pretty much freed it up for me to use and I was just messing around out here last night and I found out that you can actually just take this since this is one and a quarter uh, steel tube and it just it slips right over the, the ends like that and uh, you know there's a little bit of a uh, pipe sticking out there maybe about half an inch or so so I figure you know get this pretty well I'll level it out whatever maybe I'll drill the holes and put the bush the uh, the pillow blocks on here first and run an axle through it before I weld anything that way I know these are you know they aren't slightly tilted or whatever I mean these are self-adjusting but um so get that drilled in there or whatever and mock it up and set it down uh, with the wheels on it and then weld it on that way I know it's for sure but since it's notched like this it gives me a ton more stuff to weld to and it should be really solid now one of the things I was worried about was since this sticks out so far you have the axle way way out here um, I was worried it might bend here or so but like I said there's a lot of contact welding there the sleeves in just a little bit into here so it shouldn't be too much of a problem that I would need anything off of the back. Um, in the event that I do, I have some of this one inch square tube and I probably can't get it into the end of this one because it's a little rough on the end, but this will actually turn around this way. You can see it, it starts to sleeve in to the, the pipe. So what I could do if I wanted to add additional reinforcement is sleeve this in here, redrill the hole through it and uh, either weld it on or just leave it bolted because that's all I would really need and then just weld another support up this way or maybe straight up and over because I do need to have um, space to mount my gas tank which is going to be the original Predator tank which is right there where that air filter is it's pretty big I think it's just under two gallons or something like that and with the size of the 420, it definitely will not fit in this space with the tank like the 212 did. So, uh, this fender will come off, and uh, the seat will be on here. So, I figure I'll probably mount the tank 
in the back here somewhere and uh, maybe run an electric fuel pump. It does have a vacuum pump on it already, but maybe put an electric pump on here since there's electric on it and uh, stick a battery down here or something, just a lawnmower battery. And uh, you know, run my chain through here, break on that side like it was originally, and uh, it should all work out. And like I had said, running up the back here, if I make it square, it'll be a little bit easier to make a rack or a storage bin of some sort. So, uh, yeah, so I don't think I'm going to pull that out just yet. I'm just going to work on getting this stuff. So I got to cut this rear fender off. I'm just going to cut these out right here on the other side. Cut those out. I'm going to cut the kickstand off as well as this little bracket down here and I might leave this bracket here on that was for the brake cable I may be able to reuse that with the uh, drum brake since it'll be probably out to here with the way that the bearing would sit so I might be able to reuse that for mounting my brake band on it so here we have pretty much the three-wheeler concept laid out um, it does sit up. The seat looks funny. I don't know if it's just because it's not tightened down or not. Um, but the frame's pretty well level the way it's sitting right now. Uh, the pillow box ended up on the bottom, which actually I prefer. That way the uh, load is being pushed on the bottom part here where it's flanged and not on just this thin part up top here. But it basically looks like this is exactly the stance that it should have. Uh, in terms of the placement of the rear bearings and you know the length and everything of that and the width isn't too bad it's not perfect uh, the way the tires are in there I'm not sure how I'm gonna hold the tires on just yet um, but I do have a longer shaft that I could use if I want to make it wider um, so in regards to sleeving this in here I think I will do that for a couple of reasons one um, I would, I need something to tie along the back here. Now, if I had like a 10 2 sprocket, which would be impossible on the back here, and a teeny tiny little brake, it would all work well on here, but I don't, and I don't want to. Um, so I won't be able to put something straight across the back here. So I need to come out a little ways anyways. So uh, I have this piece here, and I have a, a longer piece over there so probably what I'll end up doing is coming out uh, to about right here maybe which is about four inches or so um, I will sleeve it inside of here that way the bolt goes through it uh, I won't weld it I'll just leave it sitting there as is and uh, same on this side and then I'll do my crossbar and then I'll be able to put a tab on here so I can pull a trailer or whatever on it and then I will probably do, like I had said, and box in the back here somehow. Or maybe just do an angle piece, I'm not too sure. But I will do something, that way I can have a rack on here and, like I had said, mount the fuel tank on the rear. Now here's the fuel tank, and as you can see, this thing is pretty big. It's actually almost the size of the, the 212 right here. As you can see so it's it has quite more capacity to it and uh, so pretty much what I'll end up doing is I'll make a bracket of some sort because it does excuse the camera work have mounting holes or studs there's holes up front studs on the back to uh, you know mount to the top of the the engine so excuse me again uh, it'll mount somewhat like this actually maybe the other way Actually, it does look a little bit better this side. Mount it this way, that way my vent tube and the fuel line's going the right way. Mount it here, you know, I'll make tabs or whatever. And uh, that way I'll have the massive fuel capacity of this. Now, as I had said before, one of my concerns was the size of the 420, which it's underneath here, but it's a pretty sizable engine. A belt on there. Anyways, it's pretty big. Um, and there's the head. It's really long. So I think I'm. It might fit in here. I probably won't be able to reuse these. I'll have to get some metal and go again across here and make new holes, regardless, because the 212's quite a bit smaller. 
Um, but it, I think it should mount in here without the control on the front of it because it'll it has electric on it. So it should fit in there. And I'll just make a basket back here to set a battery in for the electronics. And then I'm hoping I left this on here when I cleaned up the frame. This is what I had the tensioner on originally. Um, and I'm hoping that the torque converter will not stick out any further than this. Now if it does, it's not really that big of a deal. I'll just have to cut this off and flip it around or whatever if it goes you know, on the outside here. Um, but I'll have to make a guard for the chain and redesign a couple things. I'll definitely have to make the rear axle wider. But that stuff all comes later. And now that I'm looking at that seat, I can't sit on it right now. But the way it's sitting, the frame, like I said, is pretty well correct. The seat might actually end up having to be redone as well. I might have to shorten these up to drop it down a little bit. So we will see. There's a tiny little bit of space under there. Not a whole lot. But anyways, like I said uh, before, I'm going to pre-drill the holes in here to put the bearings on before I weld it. So that's going to be my next step.